This is the sound of angels. This is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. Squad! There's nothing more fun than riding motorcycles with friends. Or these random strangers too. It's just freaking amazing. In this video, I'm literally going to be trying to tell y'all or convince y'all to get a motorcycle. And if this doesn't convince you to get a motorcycle, then nothing will. Goonies! Come with us! <laughs> That's when you know it's good, dude. You're picking people up random. Alrighty guys, so let me uh, let me tell you a little bit about this group. So I'm sitting in the back so we can see everybody up front. The college I go to, Clemson, they actually have a motorcycle uh, club and I kind of heard from a, I heard mixed reviews from these, from a lot of people about uh, the club saying that uh, they're kind of inactive, they don't do a lot of group rides and stuff. And I know like if you have a motorcycle a lot of the time you want to ride all the time. Like it's your therapy sort of thing. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a group of guys that we can have enough people that so just like if randomly any of us wanted to go riding at any point in time we just text the group saying hey I'm going riding here you want to go with us and then we would have a group of people like at all times I would want to go riding with everybody. So I actually took it upon myself to kind of start something, you know? And I mean, I take pride in it because we got a, a freaking awesome group of people and it's just getting bigger and bigger and everybody just loves the whole idea of it. And we're just having a great time out here. I took it upon myself and I went and went to our campus copy shop. Not the coffee shop, the copy pee shop. And I actually got some business cards made with um, my number on it. And I, it, all it said on it was, hey, text me this number. If you want to ride, you like group rides, you want to do motorcycle meetups, and so on. I almost got killed by a Mountain Dew. I ended up making these cards, and when I was parking on campus, I would literally just put them um, on the gas tank of each uh, bike. So like right here, I just lifted this up and I put it on one underneath them. And slowly but surely, I started getting these text messages saying like, you know, this is a great idea, you know, let me know when you ride. And so we got a couple of good regulars, then we started to kind of form the group and we got a group text message and everything. And now we have that, um 20 riders on call, like whenever you want to ride, which is, amazing like once you get a bike this is the kind of stuff you just want to do all the time I mean riding by yourself it's fun in itself but riding with other people there's nothing like it man but the only thing is we really don't have a, uh, a group name I mean we're like we're really cool and stuff but we don't have like a group name or anything so hey drop a comment tell me what you think our group name should be we got a couple in the works, but you know, just let us know. Let us know what you're feeling. So now that I give you a little bit of background about our group, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about, about the bikes. I'm gonna tell you a little bit, a bit, a bit. I feel like I'm spitting some reps. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about our bikes. So leading the pack, as always, just did a wheelie. Uh, we got Drake on a Z1000. Behind him, we have Eric on a 
S1000RR BMW. It is very sweet. We got Lloyd up there with the orange helmet representing school colors. And he's on the F07. And we just picked up a newer guy today. He's on a Jixer. Uh, blue Jixer. And then we have Philly right there on the, like a, I think it's a GS500. It's like a Suzuki 500. Um, and then this guy's a funny story right here. I mean, it's not funny, but it's a cool story. So as we were riding the last motor vlog, when we stopped at that gas station in the video, uh, we actually gave out a car to the teller at the gas station because she said that her boyfriend likes to ride motorcycles. So I ended up giving her a card. No, I think Drake ended up giving her a card and the buddy, the guy texted me, her boyfriend texted me and was like, hey, let me know when y'all are riding. It's little simple things like that. I mean, there's riders everywhere. You just gotta find them. And once you find them, that's when it all ha starts to fit into place, you know? So we've actually reached a lot of people just all over the place in different ways. So I'm just trying to tell y'all encouraging, man. It's not that hard to like get something started with whatever, whatever you want to do, whatever kind of club, whatever anything. If it's a, a motorcycle club, if it's a sports club, a sports team, really anything you want to do. I mean, it's kind of typical of everybody to say this, but just, you know, whatever you put your mind to, all that stuff. But it's true. So someone's phone just fell out of their pocket as they're riding. And shout out to Otterbox, yo, because it saved the phone. Not a single, let me see it. Not a single crack. I mean, cracked in the Otterbox. But the phone is perfect. What's up? Once you get up into, into the mountain, uh, twigs, leaves, so just be careful what you're doing and do not try to hang with the faster people because that's how you get yourself killed. And uh, other than that, have fun and watch out for, just keep looking periodically back. about these group rides and the uh, the mountains or twisties whatever you want to call them just right now we're at we're in a pack right because there's a slow car in front of us but like if there was no cars there's a lot of really experienced riders that would just be blowing all of us like out the water that being said if you're not experienced like I mean I'm not very experienced and the two guys in front of me are not very experienced but if you're not that experienced don't try to push yourself because that's when you get hurt um, and uh, that's the last thing you want. So you go your go your own speed. You know it's fun going 20 mile an hour around these turns. You know, so just take your time. Enjoy being on a bike. They'll wait for you. If they don't, then they're they're douchebags. But now we're gonna get ourselves some ice cream.